Yeah, we free. Off we go. Another fun day in Madagascar. We're gonna head out. Go back to Wall and All. Uh, hopefully, get a couple of bonnies and then uh, bring some doggies up, man. Eh? Have a bit more fun. So here we have a staple diet of um, finely tuned athletes. Hey, Ross. Banana bread. I just add the eggs. Eggs, not. Hey, the guys are pumped. We're going to go back to uh, Wall and All. The spot we dived yesterday afternoon. The guys got some nice doggies around the 25 kilo mark and uh, a sale of over 30, which was a tick. So we know there's fish there. We're going to look for live baits and check the currents are going the right way. Failing that, we're going to go up to a spot called uh, Silver Tip. There's a big fat silver tip on the reef. Um, but some good doggies, and uh, you get close enough to that big doggy, you guys will get some good fish today. After finding only smaller doggies at local spot wall and all, the team moved up the bank to Silvertip, named for the large Silvertip sharks which take up residence here. Coatsman was up to his usual tricks, this time wrangling some rather large Silvertips. Diving amongst these majestic sharks was certainly an experience that kept the team on their toes. At a depth of around 30 meters, the doggies at Silvertip are usually found pretty deep. Usually the bonnie technique brings the fish to shallower water, making them more accessible. But as the team was well aware, shooting a doggie and landing a doggie are two entirely different things. Chris had a spear and another big dog tooth, and the team was working hard to keep it out of the grasp of a large shark. Just grab my gun, Chris. Just grab my gun. Potty certainly gave it his all, a good sized fish of around 30 kilograms. After the adrenaline-filled fight with the silver tips, the team decided to head onto the reef to slow their heart rates down. Yeah, awesome reef. Our first dive saw two doggies up current, couldn't get to them. Second and third dive we shot a nice coral trout for our dinner. You've got to be quite clever to get these fish, they're not, they're not asleep. Um, you've got to hunt them from the surface, it's about 20 meters deep, so it's not that shallow, 21, 22 meters. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, <laughs> fun diving as well. Really uh, challenging, you know, you feel challenging. When you get a fish like this, it's an achievement, you feel woo, awesome. But we've been a bit hungry for fresh fish, so this is our dinner tonight. Hey, very nice. Chicken that spear. <laughs>
Johann was reaching some impressive depths, reveling in the blue waters of Madagascar. Losing out in a coral trout, he was soon heading down again. Johan on an epic doggy hunt, lying in the bottom and stoning this dog tooth with a real gun. Shooting these fish from below is a rare occurrence, a truly memorable hunt. went down to, um, yeah, I think it was about 22 meters. Uh, looked at the coral trout, but the coral trout was, oh yeah, it's a nice fish, but uh, I want to get a nice big one. And then a shoal of doggies came cruising in, and uh, looked at the coral trout, looked at the doggies, the one presented me with a perfect kill shot, and uh, I took a flyer with the real gun, and I switched him off. So yeah, quite stuck there. Um, I will not shoot a doggy the size with a breakaway rig and everything, but for a real gun. Uh, <laughs> I'm quite happy. Eh? The trip so far seemed to be going too well, so Mother Nature decided to throw the team a curveball. Well, now we just had to cut our anchor chain. Massive seas coming up. Look at the heck. It's got whacked by a wave. I don't know if we're going to be spearfishing this today. We'll be spear madmen if we were. We're sitting at Castor Bank, which is about 60 miles out to sea, and we've managed to get the anchor nicely hooked. Um, but the problem is the wind's picked up to now 40 to 45 knots and it's becoming a bit dangerous but we can't get the anchor off because it'll be too unsafe for us to yank up on the anchor and it, it might damage something so we've put a little fail safe in place so we've tied a boy line to the front there with a long rope and we've cut the anchor chain so that um, if the bridle or something snaps or something goes wrong we can just release and throw everything and uh, hopefully when the wind uh, drops we can come back and fetch it all. Fun and games in Madagascar. Jeez, can you imagine being on a monol now? We wouldn't be standing, I can tell you that much, right? <laughs> We're hanging out to a corner somewhere. Let's hope this moderates soon, eh?